right, guys, let's do this. What up? It's JoJo on the radio. This is the iHeartRadio countdown, and I haven't seen these dudes, uh, not in person, since, like, pre-pandemic, five seconds of summer. What is up? Oh, hello. Good to, you. Good to be back. Awesome. How many, you, you guys haven't done many uh, in-person interviews. I think Ashton was saying, I said, how many have you done? He gave me like a seven. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've done literally seven. Yeah, pretty think. accurate. I'm a- you know, it's seven in two years. It's, so. been, it's been way too long. You guys have spent way too much time away from me. I have honestly missed you guys. Oh, we missed you too. I, yeah, I, I love you too. guys. Uh, okay, so we, we got lots to chat. Music, uh, album, life, getting stuck in an elevator. It's a random story. I know. We'll get to all of it. Uh, all with the countdown. Five sauces here. This is song number 20. Joe, join the radio. Five seconds of summer hanging out. Hey, uh, fellas, how was uh, the pandemic has been kind of weird. I, I described my experience, you know, certainly early on as like a like living in a sci-fi movie. Just yeah. bizarre. It's getting kind of normal now. How has your last couple of years been? It, just give me a little, eh, like, how how was it? I mean, it's been pretty wild. I think uh, we were in a very lucky position that, uh, well, for the last, you know, since 2011 when the band started, we've sort of been traveling all over, you know, until I was, until the pandemic happened. So for us, it was a very uh, different experience going to like and being at home and like, trying to adjust to whatever that sort of way of life is. I was about to say normal life, but it's anything but <laughs> because there, it was a weird, <laughs> weird couple of years. Um, yeah, but it was just a lot of like self-reflection and like writing music and doing all that sort of stuff, which were, you know, luckily I don't think without the songwriting outlet, it would have been a lot um, more difficult with yeah. nothing to focus on. Was it bizarre for you guys? Because you travel, I mean, well, you did travel and now you're doing it again. So much yeah, in one city one day, the next, it's just crazy to be stuck in one place. Was that just, uh, I don't know, just, did it drive you nuts? Hmm. Um, I don't, I don't know. It was kind of, I don't want to say it was a nice thing to learn how to do, I right. think, yeah. and like, un, and understand like, oh, okay, this is what it's like to be in one place for a long time, even though the circumstances were odd and like a, a, the world was in a terrible state. Um, it was, I don't know, it was kind of yeah. like nice to figure that out, I guess, <laughs> you know, yeah. how to be in one place. I guess if yours was like a sci-fi movie, my mind was like a dark comedy. <laughs> you know? uh, well, five seconds of summer is hanging out, you guys. Back to the countdown. This, on the radio. This is the iHeartRadio countdown. Five seconds of summer hanging out. Uh, album, of course, album is not out yet. However, we were talking kind of off air here. The album is done. It's finished. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, the track listing has been approved. So if somebody sent you the list as we're sitting here and everything. Well, when you approve it, you have to see it first. Well, yeah, yeah. you guys are telling You're me that you, you thought it would be, uh, you know, appropriate, maybe a, a good, you know, habit to get into to get, like, for example, me <laughs> in this little group here and to approve the track titles without having heard the songs. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, any, anything you want to leak or it's everything like super top <laughs> secret, like give me, give me one and I can tell you if I approve of it. If you we, want to. We could probably leak everything. Yeah. <laughs> we can leak everything, right? It's probably already leaked. So... <laughs> Yeah, everything always leaks, so you may as well be the first to leak it. Oh, we have a crazy song. I think we could do a song title, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I reckon. (laughs) Yeah, no, you you think the labels? I'm down. I'm down. down. We we have a song called Blender. Blender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you can you guess what it's kind of like a fruit ninja situation? You know those uh, ninja uh, things you make the smoothies. I got one. Yeah, I got. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. How can this be a good song? How could it be a good song? (laughs) Uh, I'll guess what it's about. I assume you probably can't say everything. Blender means the song Blender is about uh, everything in your life just getting thrown into one bucket and it's crazy and spins and nah, it's just your life is a blender. Wow, you uh, you know you're not that's too wrong. far. We're away. gonna go rewrite it. Actually, that's way better. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good job. Oh, that's pretty good. No. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> There's a song actually called Blender. But like, all right, now we're talking. When the, uh, what can you say about this album? What aside from the fact that there was a song called Blender, and I've approved it. So uh, <laughs> I love that that is the only yeah. <laughs> the only information. <laughs> There's a song called Blender. <laughs> There's a song called Blender. Incomplete, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, but it. I mean, Michael produced a lot of this album. Mm-hmm. And get it, Michael. Get it, Mike. And the band and I, we were kind of like, you know, with every record, we're just very ambitious guys. We just want to keep diving into our songwriting, keep writing more important songs to us philosophically, I guess, but also connecting with our fans as they grow. Um, and we're so aware we have such a beautiful opportunity to create an amazing uh, place for people to come and see us live. Um, so we create music for that, you know, and, uh, as we mature with our songwriting, we get more of a grasp on the kind of energy we want to put in our music. 
the kind of lyrics we want to write and, and the kind of narratives we want to share with people. Um, so this record is a, a further extension and a further evolution of, of all those things I just spoke about. Mm-hmm. Is there a ti- uh, final question on the album? And I'll move on. Is there a title for the album? Because I saw you guys post a new horizon. I think that's what you said. A new horizon for five sauce. Now I'm guessing that that was just a statement and not the title. Yeah, I was just or, blabbing on. Okay, that was, that was just you being <laughs> making craziness. Okay, uh, no title yet. I guess you can't release that. It's not called. It's Blender. I want to tell everybody that there's only two titles in contention, really, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and. We're about to decide, like, probably today or tomorrow. It'll probably have to be today or tomorrow. We have to yeah. decide right now. <clears throat> I think I should be in, in on this meeting. <laughs> Maybe you should. Yeah. You're going to so. do the track list. That'd be great, actually. If you could handle the track list and the album name, then that would make it oh, perfect. easier. All right. Five seconds of summer hanging out, you guys. Back to the Five count. seconds of summer is hanging out. Ooh. Hey, uh, you, uh, t- to my understanding, you basically sent a, this is how it was worded to me, a cryptic magazine yeah. to some of your fans to tease complete mess. Now, the way I understood it, when you when you mailed it to him, it was like a real mail, like uh, something came in the mail, like the yes. postman and all that stuff. Not the what? What did you guys send? Cause I didn't see this. We 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 make zines, like we make magazines, because uh, we work with this amazing visual creator called Andy DeLuca, and we have this beautiful relationship with him, where he's basically the the visual side of Five Seconds of Summit, pretty much, and. We have these amazing experiences together. We tried to make the Five Seconds of Summer show, which I don't know if you saw, but we're doing comedic acting, we're doing performances, we're doing hosting, we're doing all this stuff. And the thing about that show was I, and and we really wanted people to see behind the scenes because the band were stressed, under pressure, like total new ground for us. So we made a zine to capture everything that happened behind the scenes. And in the middle of that zine that we sent to our fans was, you know, complete mess our new single, which was like the cryptic side of things. 200 IQ play. But I kind of love the idea of like, you know, the fact that it was spreading and it, and it spread slowly. And then all of a sudden it spread quickly. You know, it's like the idea of getting this physical thing and like having to go and like talk to other people in this, you yeah. know, five sauce community and be like, Hey, like, look at this thing that I just found. Like, this is a thing that I got physically. And mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just like a fun way to tease it's it. It's kind of genius. And who, how did you pick uh, who, who they were sent to? I have no idea. Um, I don't think, remember. Did Callum pick? I think it was like, <laughs> it was something to do with like, <laughs> hand pick. I think they ordered zines for calm. They ordered the other came. zines. So if you'd ordered a zine before, you got this one for free. Yeah. And we just sent it to something you. Something like that. Interesting. All right. Well, if you, if you got one of the magazines, I guess you're one of the, uh, the 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 lucky, I guess. Or well, yeah. Well, I guess you're all lucky if you're a five seconds fan. All right. Five <laughs> seconds of summer is uh, hanging out. You guys back to the county oh, no, show on the radio. Five seconds of summer hanging out. Going to play complete mess, of course, in a couple minutes. You wow. guys have been together. Yeah, of course. Uh, you guys have been together ten plus years now. I think when twenty plus. yeah twenty twenty one was. 10. Um, this is 10 plus. I think you guys said that uh, this is kind of like being, you're, you're, you guys are basically married now. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, talk about this because it's more than just friendship. You are linked forever. Yeah, even possibly like legally. We're kind of really like linked together. Yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful. But how is this marriage? I mean, you, you what, know, what can you say about it? It's just a lot of nagging. A lot of <laughs> nagging. <laughs> when Who does you, the most nagging? When, probably me. <laughs> <laughs> when you say contractually, it's funny because we don't even have most bands have an agreement. It's like a band agreement. It's a really chill document. It just says, hey, don't leave if we're yeah, releasing like, an album. Yeah. Don't leave if we just have a single out. Please show up for the tour. That's the only requirement. Like, wow, it's pretty loose requirements. Yeah. yeah, but we don't have one. Yeah, we've lasted ten years with not a single. It's not a handshake. A sixteen-year-old yeah. handshake. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, a lawyer's worst nightmare. So if you guys wanted to walk out, you could, and that's that'd be the end of it. Absolutely, but that's so not chill. Yeah, you know? we just wouldn't do that because cool. we're chill guys. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's just <laughs> maybe that's the secret, though. I think so. I wonder if the Rolling Stones and you know the, you two have an agreement. I bet they don't. Do you think they're chill guys? I think they I don't might. That's- Bono don't look too chill to me. <laughs> Bono looks like he's strong. telling people what to do. <laughs> so, maybe that's the secret. Like, forget the legalities of it. Just are we friends? Are we a band? Or are we not? If you want to leave, go. If you don't, let's... That's because, kinda, yeah. because it's weird, too, because it's a creative relationship, and everybody has these beautiful creative um, dawns and sunsets, you know? Like, people go through their phases of their lives, and sometimes, you know, for instance... On this record, I was like, um, you play a different role every time in the creation of it. And uh, and that's the cool part. So you've got to give it space and just let it 
move how it wants to move. You can't be too like, oh, but you said you would do this and I'm supposed to do this and we're supposed to be like this. That's true. It has to change. Five seconds of summer hanging out. You guys, radio countdown, five seconds of summer is hanging out. Uh, documentary you guys put out, the five seconds of summer, a 10-year celebration. Uh, if you haven't seen that, definitely check the doc. Uh, there's a scene that uh, our buddy Ryan Seacrest, he invited you to a barbecue. I don't know if this is true or not. It's just it's, uh, <laughs> fake or whatever, but uh, he never followed up with the barbecue, or is that? Did, uh, that wasn't actually It doesn't sound like skit. something Ryan, did he really, like, I can't picture Ryan barbecuing. He, he's mm. never invited me to a uh, You know what? We've kind of. We wouldn't know either. You know, it's. <laughs> we kind of just don't really want to bring it back up to the surface. Yeah, that, it's taken us a really long time to kind of move past it's it. It's a bit of a soft man. spot, Jojo. Oh man, did he? Is he mad? Is he mad at you? Do you yeah. think he's mad at us? Well, I don't. I think was there be, a barbecue? You, uh, I, I have never been invited to a Seacrest barbecue. Okay. We've worked together in LA for quite a while. <laughs> that makes so me we're feel one a step further. So you're saying you, be, you're saying you want to unionize with us? <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to say this this whole time. <laughs> All right, five seconds of summer is hanging out. We haven't been to Seacrest barbecue. It's uh, that we have that in common. Uh, back to the countdown, guys. This is song number six of summer is hanging out. Complete mess. It is out, fellas. Oh. What do we need to know about this? Track is it on the countdown? Yes, uh, this surely is not an extra track, but uh, it oh. will be, I'm sure, at a very uh, soon. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I think it's like <laughs> number one, probably, <laughs> probably number one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, were you guys telling me this? You changed the title of this song like super last second ish, or is that true? Maybe, maybe that was a big lie too. Well, we did, but it wasn't that far off. It was the other chorus lyric, so you know we're pretty. We're pretty close on the first <laughs> title as well. Close, um, yeah. We just felt we felt like before you listen to the song, you wanted to know it was about it was going to say complete mess and not you may be complete because it's like the juxtaposition of the two and gotcha. how they intertwine. Um, and that's how we got to that conclusion in a group chat. Yeah, we thought complete <laughs> mess was the twist, which we're right, right? I and think. and and the other type, the other option was you, you make, make me complete, yeah, mm -hmm. or or why MMC, yeah. Or make me complete, or just complete. Yeah, we had complete mess. There was a, actually there was like a, a voting. There was like a voting system. I like complete mess. I do. Yeah, yeah. Complete complete mess. Mess. yeah. I think complete yeah. mess. But what we well. also we th kind of think about genre stuff, and we go, what would a pop punk band call this song? We still kind of think like that, and complete mess is way more emo or something. <laughs> oh. So a lot more visual, a lot more visual. So we chose that. All right, let's let's do it, you guys. Five seconds of summer, complete mess. Seconds of summer is hanging out. Hey, uh, what do you guys consider your best performance ever? Tough question. And then the complete flip of that, which is my favorite. Worst. What do you consider your worst? Okay. Like one was the best and one was Dude, everything was a complete disaster. Can I say something, guys? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. Best Jet Black Heart from Five Sauce Show. Yeah. A 10 year celebration. That was awesome. That's Unreal. Awesome. Worst Filmed. 2013. Uh, we're flying from San Francisco to London to play some kind of show. And uh, and and Michael goes. I've lost my passport, guys. You know, um, and everybody goes. Well, that's fine. The boys will still go. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> except the band. Everyone except Michael <laughs> and the th Luke. Cal and I were like a three piece. So like, geez. dude, it's so funny. I went back and I watched some of the videos where like you like I think you guys were playing like Good Girls or something, and then there was a break where I think Callum was like Michael sings this. It's just like didn't <laughs> and say it. He, it was and, so and didn't even give us any time to play. There was like no preparation. But this isn't a proper live show. This is in an arena. There's twenty two thousand people. Oh Jesus! And I get on stage with a cajon, which is basically an IKEA coffee table, <laughs> and and they mic me up with one mic. And Luke's on an acoustic guitar, <laughs> Calm's on a bass, and, you know, she looks so perfect, is doing great. And this arena looking at us going, geez, these guys aren't what we thought. <laughs> They're yeah, terrible. This is the <laughs> Where's the budget? The marketing's way better than the band, that's for sure. And that was probably our worst show. But I do commend the guys. You guys were brave. Yep. I, was, I couldn't. I, I was just so impressed because I felt so, I was like, God, you guys, like, you know, and I mean, I definitely wasn't offended that you didn't cancel or not do it, but I was like, crap, I've really thrown a wrench in the plans here by not having my... We, we stood in solidarity and just didn't sing your verse, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we won't do it. <laughs> Calvin, you're like, what, what do you see? Sorry, like, you go, yeah, it, Michael sings this part. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, though. I mean, like, nowadays, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even dare play a gig For without what one of the no members. Way. I could never play a show as Five Sauce without... One of you in. No, no, yeah, I no, would no. love you guys to play a show if you could get Taylor Hawkins on drums. <laughs> mm. 
mm. from the Foo Fighters. The Fooies. Uh, I know you wouldn't really like yeah. it, and I don't think he would play to the tracks very well. <laughs> But um, he'd, he'd have to do. Song. He'd like instinctually oh, come and do his Queen cover where best. he sings. Yeah. <laughs> it just comes out after she looks so perfect. <laughs> Under pressure. <laughs> All right, five seconds of summer hanging out, you guys. Back to the countdown. Five seconds of summer is uh, hanging out. We were in the elevator uh, a few minutes ago, and uh, we got to talk. I don't know how it got brought up, but um, you smell great. You do smell great. Oh my god, we were like, oh, you know, we were so non-COVID safe, crammed in. It was perfect. Oh. Um, um, <laughs> hey, what uh, the the basket you got for? Kid Leroy. Oh. Give me that story because, uh, yeah, he well, apparently he loved it, right? Well, deep down we're shy guys, <laughs> and we're never like, you know, if we're, we're, we're at Conway Studios and we're making our album and, and, and Kid Leroy was there, um, or Man Leroy, he's very tall, and, <laughs> huge, and, <laughs> huge. and he was across in Studio A and we're in Studio C where the crusty old guys go. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, Is it like a, a terrible studio scene? Or? No, exactly. Uh, they're all um, beautiful. <laughs> and, you know, none of us were like, we're not going to bust in and be like, what's up, Kid Leroy? It's five sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Which Ew. very well, like, crossed our minds. We're like, well, kind of, we want to meet him. And he's we're Australian. Australian. We were like, yeah. It'd be yeah. nice to meet him, so but we didn't want to be those guys. So it was kind of around Valentine's Day. So I was already in the spirit of, like, preparing a little gift for someone else. So I was I was like, at this time, I was like, okay, let's send him some black roses because that's cool. I don't know. Mm. Let's send him, cool. let's send him, you know, a bit of this, bit of that. The basket's looking nice. Mate. And that will be our initial handshake because we just want to say, hey, dude, well done. We send him a note. We say, congratulations on everything happening to you. And, and have a blast and have fun and stay safe. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and what the he, basket had a bunch of stuff, just like Australian Aussie stuff, stuff in it, right? Yeah, just Aussie stuff to make him feel, you know, at home. Um, he, he came in and he was like, you know, haven't, hasn't had some of that stuff in a really long time. Talking like and, Vegemite and whatnot. And, yeah, all that crap. All the stuff that you would hate. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> but he's such an incredible <laughs> artist and like he's so talented. And I think. You know, we asked Shy, and uh, we decided, you know, show her affection from afar. Yeah. You know, like, you've done a great job. Yeah. Like, you're an awesome artist. But sometimes with, like, other Aussie artists, we just want them to know, like, hey, if you guys ever need to chat about anything, like, we're mm. down. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And you, it, it, it begs the question, at some point, you guys could see, just because of the Australian link, yeah. why not a collab at some point? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, just, it just makes... Too much sense. Someone you know? to chat to. Maybe you need a backing band. Maybe you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Best <laughs> backing band. Oh my god. We've got a lot of collaborations on this album coming up. This. So. Well, I would ask, but I know you wouldn't. You wouldn't tell me. So you know. All right. Five seconds of summer on the radio. This is the iHeartRadio countdown. Five seconds of summer is hanging out. Uh, I think you guys know this about me, although we haven't chatted for quite a while. I am obsessed with the paranormal, ghost. UFOs, all know. that stuff. Yeah, I've got a podcast called Paranormalish. I mean, I'm, I'm way wow. out the deep end. It's crazy. Um, I believe you guys told me about a paranormal encounter a while back. I'm not sure if it was true or not, but have you had a paranormal encounter that comes to comes to mind? Anything? Oh. Mm. If not, I've got a favor to ask you. A favor? Yeah. Or should I just give you the favor? You want um, us to certify something? No, well, no. Yeah. Uh, I've <laughs> <I'm> so certified <laughs> this yeah. paranormal event. You're gonna be you're gonna be hitting the road here, you know, soon doing these tours. Yep. And a lot of nice hotels you're staying in, I'm sure. I hope so. Yeah. Well, hotels are right. the hot spots. <laughs> yeah, so. right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> One or more of these hotels are going to be haunted. And I want, if you would, and everybody's rejecting me on this. I think maybe one person said yes, but most people, it's a joke or you crazy. Um, request the haunted room. <laughs> or if there's more than one, like Calico uh, one and all you get. I, you, you know, just it, in, you know, for conversation's sake. We have walked into multiple hotel rooms and changed the room because, yeah, you know, you go in there and you go, whoa. You something. can feel like the, huh? Like Ooh, something's, something's at you. Whack. And the dark is darker than dark and it feels heavy hmm. and it's weird and you just don't want to go in there. And I always am responsive to that. I'm like, I'm getting a new yeah, room. For there's sure. a few that like we've been to where it's like it used to be like a warehouse or something and now it's like a really like beautiful, like. There's there's, Big rooms. There's that one in Liverpool. Oh my yeah, god, that, that was haunted. It was like an 1800s. Uh, no kidding. Uh, yeah, kind of whatever. Where the boats made up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, they, you know, they were shipping. They were shipping coal or something back then. But you know, they made a hotel out of this place, and it was. Oh. Dude, have you guys played? What's the one in Milwaukee? Um, the Rave in Milwaukee. Mm, uh, mm. If you get a chance to play there, I want to go with you because AJR told me they walked, they were they, their dressing room. They walked into the dressing room and just peeped in the door. Pretty normal. Nothing crazy going on. Shut the door. 
only entrance. Shut the door. Had about a 30-second chat outside the door. Opened the door back up, and the furniture stacked up. No way. Yes. I mean, he they could be lying to me, but they, I've talked to him several times about this, and it's just like, and they, they check with the staff, what's going on here? This stuff happens all the time. And th- unless somebody just, you know, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, lowered down and did the furniture and back through the roof in 30 seconds, I don't I don't know the explanation. So mm. is it, is it, uh, I don't know, but that's a, that's a, that's quite that's a crazy, cloak right? of a ghost. Is it? If is he's it the stacking guy, furniture is it, is it, that quickly, yeah, he must be six five at least. <laughs> Three hundred pounds. Is there a documentary on this? Yeah, is I need to get you guys. I'll send you guys some links or if I can find some nice uh, is, some is, research on it. Yeah. Is it the guy that's wearing the hat in AJR? Does he wear the hat? Uh, yes, the guy. They, well, they all they all witnessed it. They the all guy with the hat. <laughs> well, he seems like they all wear hats. He's well, hiding something. Yeah, he must be. He, that, with that hat, he's super, underneath super the hat. Yeah. Underneath <laughs> the hat, he's got something <laughs> under there. <laughs> right, five seconds of I summer. That's paranormal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like, what's up with his hat? Five <laughs> seconds of summer hanging out, you guys. Back to the countdown. This is song number Radio eight. Countdown. Five seconds of summer hanging out. Uh, after ten plus years of being a band, what have you guys uh, learned from this experience? Um, what are you better at now than what you what you used to be? As aside from music, because you, of course you improve musically and whatnot. But yeah, but yeah, what what have you learned? <laughs> yeah. Ten years. I keep having more fun, to be honest, because I loosen the grip a bit on it all. You know, it's like when you when we first, you know, arrived. It's like um, you're kind of in a survival mode vibe. Mm-hmm. You're kind of like, oh my gosh, life is so crazy now. Like people are listening to our music, and we're moving around the world a lot, and we're interacting with all different kinds of people. Um, but I guess what I've really learned in the last 10 years is to, to have the most fun possible doing all of this. Cause it's all, you know, um, it's all amazing and it's awesome and, and it's such a gift to us, you know? So every time we, every new album that comes out, I enjoy it even more somehow. And I, and I relax into it even more and enjoy, um, everything that comes with it. You know, I'm glad you're doing that mm-hmm. because you know, we, when it's all said and done and we're all like 80, you know? Looking back on this, you're going to think, man, that was that was pretty awesome what we did. Oh, yeah. It'd be a shame if you can't enjoy it while you're d- yeah. decide. I know there's stress and goals and you know, hustle. Oh, if you can't enjoy it right now, that'd be a real shame. You know? I really do think, if anything, the pandemic really helped us have perspective on that. You know, we were really able to, like, look at our accomplishments and what we've done kind of objectively and sort of like the position of where we are now. And, you know, the actual way to enjoy it more is just to, like, like Ash said, loosen the grip. Like you know, it's we can we can get out of that fight or flight mode and actually right. just like have fun and make the music that we want to make and just like love it. I'm yeah. telling you, I, I've, I've told you guys this before. You guys are on on the on the path to becoming one of the biggest bands. I mean, like oh, big, like you, Coldplay, U2. That I mean, that's and, and I know that's you know, you you guys are in the forest. Sometimes you can't see the forest through the trees, but yeah. you're, you're in that spot to really like. I mean, big. Like, yeah. you guys are something for it's real. A, it's a, a, it's a dream of ours to play, you know, those bands, they've succeeded in a way that they've created so much connectivity between human beings and they've connected their music to the feeling that, you know, people want to show up and, and be together and hear that music. And that's kind of our ultimate dream, you know? Yeah. What a life, man. Five Sauce <laughs> is hanging out. Back to the Good countdown. Radio. This is the iHeartRadio countdown. Five seconds of summer is hanging out. Hey, uh, you guys have toured a lot. Another tour is kicking off, you know, uh, relatively soon. So pumped you know for that. I mean. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, give me a crazy road story. I want, you know, you guys must have some wild story. I know you said you were trapped in an elevator once. Luke doesn't remember it, but uh, that, maybe that's not the story to go with. I don't know. But. <laughs> we can't verify it. <laughs> do you recall, wait, Callum, do you recall being stuck in the elevator or is that just a like a there, like some elevator you guys were stuck in? Did, 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 Mate, it, I can't recall what I did yesterday. So Wow. Ashton's the only one to get. Michael, you Did can't you remember, remember that either. That? I don't remember. Ashton, were you the one was stuck early, in the elevator? Maybe I was. You know, maybe I was off chops or something. <laughs> um, now, what I will say, we're in Minnesota once, You're and up. it's snowing, <laughs> and we're fascinated by snow. We're Aussies, like it didn't snow very much where we grew up, and you know, we're like ah, like. And meanwhile, back in California, uh, uh, Coachella is happening, and we're all like, look, we're at Coachella playing in the snow, like laughing about how kind of, you know. That kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. And, um, you know, we play the show in this dungeon and uh, we're playing a really undersold like tour. And we walk outside and our bus is eight foot covered in snow above the wheels. And our trailer, our U haul is all underneath snow. And the tour manager is yelling at me. He goes, he hands me a shovel. <laughs> he hands me a shovel. He goes, we've all got to dig this out. Otherwise, we're not getting to the next gig. Yeah. Looks, you know, I said, 
Hell no, I'm not shoveling. <laughs> I'm not shoveling anything, mate. I mean, this is like... It's going to get on my car again. I was like, I'm going to dust my hands of this bus. I don't need it. I'm going to move on. Get me to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> but, so we dig the bus out and we do manage to leave. But it's like stuff like that still happens, man. It's like you, you're just really... You're still just traveling on a bus and you're still just kind of making it through the elements when you're touring America. And it's like anything can happen. God, here's a shovel. He's a shovel, dude. <laughs> I, yeah, there was once where we were about to play the gig and there's like a separate truck that has, you know, all of our gear and all of our equipment and all of our guitars and drums, everything. And uh, we'd arrived at the gig and I remember the yeah, our tour manager was like stressing because they were like, oh, well, you know, the, the truck with all of our gear is still, you know, a few hours away. So, you know, it's, you know, show was in like four or five hours and we were meant to sound check soon. And then they were like, the truck just broke down Ugh. with all of our gear that was like three or four hours away. And I remember them having to like figure out some way to either like, was it better to get the truck repaired or was it better mm. to drive someone and then like, but that, back. when stuff like people get crazy, they'll come to us like in the dressing room and be like, the truck broke down. Do you need the guitars and drums? Do you really need them? <laughs> do you need them for the show? That Can was you really do a question. <laughs> like, um, no, Michael's think- also not here. Can you do the show still? Yeah. <laughs> and I look at them, I go, I guess not. <laughs> I guess we could do stand up or something. Give me some sticks and some buckets. We're good. You yeah. Know? God. All right, you guys. Uh, five seconds of summer hanging out. Back to the countdown. This five is Five seconds of summer is hanging out. Before I play number one, fellas, uh, Family, friends, inner circle, been with you forever, that kind of crew. What's their reaction to all? They may be used to it by now, but what's their reaction to all this five sauce success? My mom Mm -hmm. still likes the songs from the first EP we ever (laughs) released, and she stands by that. She like goes, everything, you, nothing tops that kind of a there thing? There was a song called Gotta Get Out, and she goes, that's my anthem, Ash. That's, <laughs> that's, pretty, that's honestly pretty sweet. She's like, that's my jam. <laughs> you guys still haven't topped it. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, I think Calibre. It's pretty crushing song, to hear, though. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a, a songwriter. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, Mom, I'm over in L.A. I'm still working on it. <laughs> God, she uh, has she liked any of the, like, has she, has she been a fan of some of the new stuff as well? She's kind of like a super, super fan, so she she only likes the cool stuff. She mm. likes like the, the deep, deep cuts. Dude, every time I I stopped for a long period sending songs to my dad, right? And yeah. I I did for this for a complete mess. I sent it to him um, a few weeks ago, but I stopped sending it to him because I would send him songs. I'd be like, "What do you think, Dad?" And every time he's Scottish, by the way, every time I'd be like, "Yeah." Sounds like Justin Bieber. <laughs> and I'd be like, I'd be like, honestly, mate, it like it sounds nothing like it. It's He's so far like, yeah, from God. it. But he like he means it in a good way. Yeah. yeah. And then it's a banger. Yeah, yeah like, I think so. Great song. I think he's like Justin's like pinnacle. Yeah. Justin's <laughs> Elvis to him, dude. No, oh, exactly. Man. Oh That's god, crazy. so so vicious. All right, five sauce is hanging out. Let's get into the uh, number one song. Here five. we go. Sauce is hanging out. A uh, complete mess is out get on this track album uh on the way mm-hmm. uh, i've approved the uh, track list so everything seems to be good to go uh tour coming up you know fairly soon all the details check their socials what am i forgetting to ask you guys um i don't know i think that's do we cover it all i think you kind of nailed it anybody else got anything they want to get off their chest anything anything deep down not particularly Uh-oh. okay just the barbecue thing but that's yeah we we'll that's, that's Chris Barber I, you know what I, I'm, I'm upset too because Thank I mean you. you guys got invited but he didn't follow through <laughs> I wasn't even invited and I like I said I worked with mm. him in LA yeah. for years mm. yeah. well, it's, you know it's one of the you know like oh, love yeah. guys group. Having a barbecue this week if you want to come. Yeah, we, yeah. we'd actually love that. You know what? <laughs> we'd, you know what? we'd love what? to come. And like, oh. Once our album's out, I'm going to have a barbecue. I'm going to invite all of you. Thank you yeah. can't have a Thank barbecue you out of spite. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> yes. Uh, it is going to be called Spider-Palooza. <laughs> oh, and no Ryan's barbecue. allowed. Oh, my God. All right, five stars. Hey, fellas, it is so good to see you guys. I've missed you. Congrats on everything. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you very man. much. Thanks, At the Georgia. end of every countdown, fist bump to make it official. I mean, uh, bam, man. Huge. Oh, bam. iHeart Radio. Big shout out to iHeart Radio. The countdown that you control. The iHeart Radio countdown.